and feel the love. Oh, we love you. We love you. <laughs> Katie Holmes. Uh, I feel the love when I come. You feel good. It's so nice please. to see you. I want to see you. I want you on the show every night, so please just stay here for the rest of the week. Done. All right, good. <laughs> uh, I want to talk about your play, The Wanderers, but first, uh, I wanted to mention The Ice Storm, which I believe was your film debut. It was 25 years ago. I know. Can you believe that? <laughs> What do, you, what do you remember about that? Well, I was 17, and I remember we came to New York, my mom and I, and, and we shot it, and I thought, oh, I mean, that's, this is what I want to do. Great. You knew it. And then I went home, and I was putting myself on tape for different auditions, and I wasn't really getting anything. And I thought, oh, <laughs> well, that might be it. You know, that might be my all dream. there is. But it was okay, because I was like, you know what? That's okay. Like, that was an amazing experience, and I movie. can, like... Tell my grandkids and I'll be fine. You know, oh my I got to... No, seriously, I really? was like, that's cool. You were happy with that, and you go, yeah, that was. Well, I mean, I, I wanted, I wanted more jobs, but I was like, don't be, you know, I don't know, greedy. Yeah, you didn't think you were like, oh, maybe it was not going to happen. But now yeah. you're Katie Holmes. I mean, did you go? What, do you remember the audition? <laughs> For the ice storm? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was my mom and I uh, went out for a pilot season. We landed on a Sunday. I love your mom, by the way, and your <laughs> sisters, by the way. Thank I, you. But I love your mom. I always give your mom a shout out every time I see you because she's the nicest. We she sent me a nice care package once, yeah. and I never, I'll she's, never forget. Well, she loves you. She's very the much. greatest. I yeah. thought that was so cool. <laughs> she did that. But your mom's very supportive. Very supportive, and it was uh, my second day in LA, and my first audition. I know. I got, I got lucky. Wow. Yeah. Did, were you intimidated at all by L.A.? Uh, yeah, I remember we got lost a lot because it was like, you know, no Google Maps. It was the Thomas, Thomas Guide. Guide. And we were wow. lost every single I can't believe the Thomas day. Guide. Yes. That was the most confusing map I've ever read in my entire life. And you get to well, L.A. and everyone goes, you got to get a Thomas Guide. And then it's all like weird. It's like, okay, where are we now? I go, yeah. all right, we're at A4 or G6. <laughs> I'm like no. doing the math in my head. I'm like, oh, I'm so lost. To this day, when I drive in LA, I know how to get around because of all the times we got lost. That's when so I was funny. A kid. Yeah. Um, so you get lost and then you go to the audition, you're already frazzled. But yes, exactly. You're like, I'm sorry if I'm terrible, but I don't know where I am. I know. One time I went to an audition by myself. I was older then. And I was 45 minutes late because I had gotten lost with my Thomas guide. And the the lady yelled at me, and I, I was like, I really... I tried. <laughs> I tried. No. You have no yeah. idea. I, I really want this part. Yeah, <laughs> yeah please. Exactly. Like, That's why I'm here. Yeah, you do get lost. You get lost. But I heard you stumbled into the Golden Globes or something. Yes, that was the other thing. Our first day in L.A., um, we were driving. It was raining, and we saw a sign that said Golden Globes this way. We were like, Golden Globes? <laughs> so we turned, and... We sat in the, or we, yeah, we sat in the like the stadium seats. or like it three actually rows. was happening as you it were there. It was, and so we watched people getting in and out of cars and waving, and we're, I mean, it was like Patrick Swayze. Yeah, and <laughs> that's it, so it, fun. It was amazing. And did you ever think, oh, I'm going to be walking this red carpet one day? No, but I, I, I don't, I just didn't think about it. I was like, wow, we, we're. How did this happen? Yeah, it's magic. It's kind of yeah, fun. Yeah, it was yeah. pretty fun. Uh, I, I want to talk about uh, your uh, your play, but also I want to talk about your movie that you co-wrote and directed. This is your third or my third film you that got I the directed. Director bug. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be calling you. I love it. No, <laughs> yeah, right. Have you seen my acting? Okay. Yes, yeah, I yeah, have. Yeah. Whew, you don't I want that. I love working no. with you. I'm... We had our our minute. Yeah, we SNL. did. Of course, that's I, I, I gave you a big break. Yeah, you of course. <laughs> Uh, it's called Rare Objects. It's called Rare Objects. It's uh, it's about female friendship and healing. Um, we shot it here in New York City. Alan Cumming is in it oh, as love well. Him. Yeah, and it's a uh, and Julia Mayorga, who's a, an up and coming actress, who's wonderful. And uh, it's like a love letter to New York. That we, comes out in, in April. April fourteenth. But I, I love that you. I think you'd be a great director. I think you have a great eye. Well, thank so you. So this is like so you're gonna keep doing this. I am. I love working. To both. Yeah, I love working with actors, and then I love um, the visual aspect of, his, of it yeah. as well, yeah. Uh, let's talk about The Wanderers. Uh, you're in rehearsals now. Yes. Performances uh, begin in less than two weeks. So <laughs> a week from Thursday, to is, be exact. Yeah, yeah, to be exact. <laughs> so it's getting real. It's, it's real now. <laughs> it's getting real. Like, okay, are we really doing this, guys? We're yeah. putting on a show? Yeah. Uh, you're, I've seen you on stage before. You're fantastic. Do you love the, the risk of theater or doing it live? Yeah, I mean, I do. It, it's I'm. Some actors, you know, they get into it and they get used to it and they roll in and they do it. And but I'm not that person. I I have to read through my lines every day and I am terrified until closing night because I just 
what if I'm, you know, one time I went blank and I forgot a line and it was so scary. Really? But, but, but you have a whole cast of people too. So I know, and then I feel can... like I can't let them down. No, know? but also I feel like they they might lose one of their lines, and then I, I got to pick up where <laughs> exactly. they and I'm like, you're supposed to say open, the, close the door. Remember? Exactly. Let's Wait, go you were close the door. To pick that up. Yeah, yeah. Ah. ah, the door's open. Yeah, I would just exactly. be terrible, and I'd be like, oh my gosh. Yeah. It would be yeah. So yeah, th there's there's some risk of that, but. Yeah. It, it's a great cast. It's a wonderful cast. Eddie K. Thomas, who I haven't seen in 20 years, wow. and uh, we've had a wonderful time. And um, and I actually, when I'm working, uh, I I tend to become very super uh, superstitious. And um, you do. I do. So I I have these different rituals. So if like I eat a certain meal and the show goes well, then I only eat that meal for the run of the show, which is. Is that it drives right? everyone around me crazy. Because you go, wait, I can't believe I just had like a uh, half of Coke and a hot dog. You're like, yeah. <laughs> I have to have that every day for the whole run? Right, I gotta, I gotta do 30 more minutes on oh. the bike for that. <laughs> <laughs> What's your go-to meal? Well, it's kind of boring. I mean, it's usually like something light, like a salad with chicken or something. But, you know. Yeah. I mean, it would be nice to have like a pepperoni pizza with hot honey or something. I mean, that would be great. Yeah, but you can't do that every but night and sustain the whole, night. you can do but it. But maybe after the show. <laughs> yeah, after the show we can do it. What is the play about, can we talk? The play is, um, it's about two couples from Brooklyn, mm -hmm. Williamsburg, and, yeah. um, but it's two different time periods and they're related. And the show touches upon family, marriage, death, um, and it's about human discontent and self examination there it's funny it's high drama and it's it's definitely that new york experience of i'm going to the theater yeah yeah that's what i'm so talking you're gonna about come. Right. Oh, of course I'm, <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm there i thought we'd do a little champagne oh. toast before the play started come on absolutely you know we love you congratulations you. katie holmes everybody <laughs> the wanderers begins performances january 26th katie and i are playing a new fun game when we come back stick around everybody Hey!